Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am going to show how to create a catalog UI policy. Okay, simple ones. Let's see. Log in to your personal instance and go to maintain items. Maintain items. For example, uh, I want to create a catalog UI policy on this create user catalog. Okay, open this one. Um, okay, why we use catalog uh, UI policy? Okay, we use catalog UI policies. Uh, let's try it on portal. Okay, let's see. Let's open. Okay, we use catalog UI policies. Okay, why we use catalog policies? We use catalog UI policies to make a variable mandatory or read only or visible. For example, if I want to make it uh, first name as a mandatory, I have to use UI policy. Okay, and if I want to uh, hide email, okay, I want to use UI policy. Okay, if I want to uh, make phone as a read only, okay, it should not be a readable. Then I have to use UI policy. Of course, you can use uh, scripting, catalog client scripts also, but catalog client scripts is used at the time like uh, where you cannot uh, hide or you cannot make mandatory or you cannot make a, a read only from UA policies, then only you have to use catalog client scripts. Okay, let's create. For example, if I want to make a, a first name as a mandatory, how I will create an UA policies? Let's see. Go to the maintain items on create user, okay? And uh, at the related tabs, you have catalog UI policies, catalog client scripts, everything, okay? Open this catalog UI policy, create a new catalog UI policy. Okay, what you want to, uh, short description is the name of the catalog UI policies, okay? My, uh, what I want to do, make um, mandatory. Okay, or make uh, fields mandatory. Okay, something like this. Okay, when to apply? At what level of conditions I need to apply? Okay, okay, it, it should apply on all the times. Okay, catalog item conditions. Applies on catalog item view. Catalog item view means this is the catalog item view. And applies on catalog toss, applies on requested item means that is when you submit the catalog item, then you will have you will get our idea and it does. So if you want to make on those uh on our item and task also, you need to check these boxes. That is how you can apply catalog AI policies on catalog task. Okay. So on load. On load means okay, during the load it should work. Okay, reverse it for. I will explain you this later, okay, with an example. Okay, now save it. Okay, when you save it, okay, then you will get catalog UI policy action. Okay, here you need to um, choose like which variable or what option you need to make. Okay, for example, if I want a uh, first name as a mandatory okay true okay and submit it and go to the portal refresh this one okay so the first name is automatically mandatory okay what happen if i select uh, for example if i open this one first name how uh leave alone okay leave alone means you are not doing it okay visible you are visible true okay visible true means it always shows visible false means it will hide okay for example i want to hide first name and save it go to the portal and refresh the item so you, you can't see the first name. okay now go to unvisible true okay save it and then open Okay, so now you can see the first name. Okay, so for example, if you want to make a read only, okay, I'll leave alone, make it read only. True. 
Okay, and save it. So read only. So it will make read only. Okay. Now uh, let's leave it there. Now. Okay, leave only. Now, for example, I will write a condition. If what first name? Okay, is not empty. Okay, first name is not empty. Same. Okay, then uh, open this one. Then select second name. Last name. Last name should match it. Okay, and update it. Okay, remove, refresh it. Okay, last time is not mandatory now because we made a condition like first name is not empty. That means this first no first name is empty, so that's the reason last name is not mandatory. If if you type something on the first name, then last name automatically mandatory. Okay, if you remove this, then last name uh, it removes mandatory. Okay, so. Why this is like a reverse, okay? So that is what reverse is false, okay? So if you remove this, then last name should not mandatory. Uh, for example, if I type something, it is made mandatory, and if I remove it, should not lose its mandatory means. Then what you need to do is uncheck this one and save it, and save it, and reload it. So now it will make mandatory. Okay. Now if you remove it, it, it will not become unmandatory. Okay. So mandatory still remains. Okay. That is why we use reverse if false. Okay. That is what we use uh, reverse if false. Okay. For example, last. Okay. Open this one. Okay. Mandatory. Uh, for example, see, um, I will reload this one. I entered first name, okay, and it makes mandatory, and I entered, and then I removed this one. Okay, it removed mandatory, but it does not clear the value. It does not clear, okay. So what I want to do, how it, how it should clear, because I removed first name, and then should remove the last name also. Okay, then what I will do, I will click on clear value. Okay, update. Okay, I'll refresh it. So we enter some value. Okay, then last name is mandatory. Enter and now remove the first name. Okay, then it is not clearing. Why it is not clearing? Okay, because the clear value it applies only on select box. Okay, if you hover on this one, see, set the variable to an empty value or none in case of choices, only choices, not for all the um, all the single line test or something. But if you have some select box, then only it will be useful. If you don't have select box, then it will not be useful. Okay. At that time, what you need to do is then go to the script, run script, execute if false. Execute if false, then g underscore form dot clear value. Which value? You need to give the value name. L A S T last underscore name this is the variable okay now save it now save it now go to the portal go to the portal and we reload it okay you enter something in the first name last name and you enter something okay and then remove but still it doesn't remove why why because Scripts run script okay run script in the UI type only you selected as a desktop. You should select 
mobile or service portal or all okay then only it will work okay this service portal so it is not an ui type okay normal ui type so it is service portal so that's the reason it is not working so refresh it and enter something and enter something then remove it then it removes okay that is how uh, you need to use the run script how you need to use the condition how uh, you have to use on which one you need to apply okay on which thing you need to apply okay the read only or mandatory or uh, visible okay and then the how you, you need to use reversive pause okay and then the script okay executive to if the condition is true then execute the script if execute yeah, if the condition is false then execute this script okay that is how you need to use this catalog by policies okay that's it thank you please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time